we drove around eight hours down south and actually one of you sent us this hot tip about a creek we've never been here i found it on the map it's like a secret local spot so we are on the way there and the track is hectic so right now Medi is decided to tie up the engine on the boat is that right <laughs> This, we are gonna get an absolute vlog in trying to get up that track there. So this is like the third hill. We already did two of those and it's not an easy track. It's really steep uphill and it's boggy sand. We did two and this third one looks really really boggy. So maybe it's tidying up the engine on our boat and we will try to do this hill. And it's still a very long track. Hey, we have a long road ahead. What it looks like, it's just hill comes into a salt plant, another hill, another hill. So we are going to get vlogged. Hopefully the place will worth it because the trek is not an easy one. <laughs> but it's what it's all about, isn't it? The, the adventures. Why we do it? <laughs> Hopefully everything on the car will survive. And for you who haven't seen the car yet, because last night you've seen it in a very dark, this is the car we are trying to get up there. This is the setup. Because the sand is really, really boggy, we are even letting the tires down. So normally the tire is around 40 PSI. We're gonna let it down to like 20, just to make them softer and hopefully we can get up there. we have a dinner so I'm going through the water what do you have there did you <laughs> what did you call it's so shallow never eaten this before what you having <laughs> what is it look at this they're, co they're called cockles Cockles? Cockles. Can you see it? I've never even seen those. Look at this. How do you eat them? So inside is like this beautiful little piece of meat. So you can make like, you can cook them and boil them in water. But if you make like a, 
like a garlic creamy sauce. Yeah. Put like three handfuls of them in the garlic creamy sauce and let them open up. You get this like, they're like mussels. Uh-huh. Except inside that thing there is a beautiful, it's got a cock. That sounds delicious. Well, you gotta catch them. That's what we're doing now. That's, that's, our, that's our job for the afternoon. <laughs> this whole entire sand flat will be full of these. You just gotta go and find them all. That's awesome. So what are they? This beautiful pinky white color. Yeah, and then inside you get this yummy little little treat. Whoa, let's collect cocos. Cocos, that's what we're doing <laughs> for the afternoon. They're actually really good fishing bait too. And look at this is the spot. Okay. Ah, that's a big one. Just drag your hand like not oh. deeper than your knuckles. Like that, like just your fingers drag and you'll feel them in the sand. You so know? they are in the sand? Yeah, they're under the sand, they're not oh. on the surface, they're in. Oh, maybe I... Oh, I've got one! Oh. <laughs> How did you find them? How did you know they are here? Knowledge. <laughs> oh, I've got two. Oh, this is a small one. Yeah, just get the big ones. Oh, just big ones? <laughs> oh, this is good. We couldn't fit all the cocos into our hands anymore. So we went to the car, we got some buckets and we're gonna collect them and then we can make them for dinner. So let's... Let's get in up. Let's go, we're getting this done. Thanks, dear. <laughs> clean because what happens you get this like little bit of a poo shoot on the back of the cockle there and the sand and it, yeah well that's full of sand that's all sandy so what we've got is just this live bait bucket which is full of little baby holes it's actually so good for this purpose so let us do on this we're getting all the sand off the cockles so we have a sandless feed tonight and it works perfect that's what this bucket it's so good for it. We've got a bucket full of cocos and we are just we found a spot which would be hopefully out of the wind and this is where we're gonna cook the dinner and this is where we're gonna sleep and because we sleep in the car we need the car to be leveled so the everyday drama starts right now when we are parking the car and we are trying to find a straight spot that's it no i reckon the back is down do you reckon that's level I don't reckon. You reckon it's level? Every day, every night, we do this. Yeah, you see now the now the front went down. <laughs> we need to have the level. I reckon now it's we like. We need to have a level up there. Yeah, we need to buy the level with the bubble. I reckon your side's down now. Not. Your side's down a bit. <laughs> That's good, eh? I can't be bothered taking the tinny off just nah, to level maybe. the car. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is definitely the back of the car down. Like I'm sliding. Right. <laughs> anyway, we just gonna try to get a <laughs> level spot, guys, and I'm gonna see you when we are gonna cook the cockles. <laughs> there, there. You reckon? We're gonna cook the cockles on the max strex table here. So what do we need? Is we need pen garlic <laughs> man is ready what do we pan <laughs> and we're gonna do it on garlic coconut <laughs> coconut cream and what onion onion garlic well, i've got, got this shit i got this shit sorted 
<laughs> I'm so hungry. Let's cook it. <laughs> how do you cook the cocos for? How long do you cook the cocos for? Until they open. Until they open? Mm -hmm. Same as a mussel. Mm. I know someone was last time laughing on how much garlic I put in a food and I do put a lot. I love garlic, garlic's healthy and I do put a lot. So the first step is I'm gonna brown the onion and the garlic on a little bit of olive oil and then we're gonna try cocos. I have never tried them before and I can't wait. Let me guys know in the comments if you already tried cocos or if you would try them and if you did how do you cook them? What is your recipe? So I can try next time yours. Looks beauty! <laughs> and these are today's kitchen views. Pretty epic. I'm gonna put a little bit of a garlic, chili, ginger and Himalayan salt. That's probably our favorite spices. I just found this little screw <laughs> and it's actually from here. I can fix it. It's been broken for so long and I just found it. You see? I can, hey, I can finally fix, babe, the gas cooker. I found a little screw. <laughs> Where was that? I don't know. It just, like, it just, it had to came, it had to came from the box. The odds of finding that screw are so small. I know, and I'm <laughs> literally What do you need, it. a screwdriver? No, I'm gonna use my nail. <laughs> Bushman Bill over here. I'm that, ex I'm that hungry. I know. I'm gonna shoot the bone out. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. Cocos and fish? Could be on the menu either. That little river down there could be full of fish. So the screw is back in and our gas bottle is running low. Look, it's almost empty. We need to put new one. Boom! Is... What the heck? <laughs> this is the magic window. <laughs> but I just was showing that this is almost golden and ready for the next step. I'm gonna put the coconut cream. A very last minute decision, we're gonna put some curry paste inside. So it's gonna be a tikka masala paste and we're gonna make a curry cocos. <laughs> Let's put how much? One spoon, let's put two spoons. Oh, mm, that smells so good already. Um. Smells so good. This is looking good. We don't even have the cockles in it yet. So I added some water just to create a little bit more liquid and these are the cleaned cockles. So I'm just gonna put them in there now. 
Hopefully they are clean properly from the sand and we will just wait until they open. They start opening up. I think they've been in the sauce for maybe like, I don't know, 10 minutes, not even. And they already start opening up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at the view behind me. <gasps> oh. I just turned them off and I'm gonna let it sit in the sauce just for a little bit to soak all the flavors. And meanwhile, I'm just, I set up a picnic area. <laughs> this is the sarong from the online store. So we are gonna use it as a blanket where we're gonna sit on with these views and eat our dinner. If you wanna grab one of those for yourself as well, it's on the field day shop online store. The link is in the description box below as well. And I'm just gonna serve those cocos. And this is how they look like. It smells so good. I wish you can smell it, guys. Mm. So let's try them. Are you coming in? Yeah, hold up. Look at this perfect bite. All the garlic, all the onion in there. Oh man. Are they good? I don't know, I haven't tried it. Whew, not so wrong. <laughs> you like it? Where did you get this from? <laughs> it's actually so nice, but. <laughs> yeah, it's really soft, eh? It is actually pretty good. Goodnightshop.com. And look how big it is. I don't wanna do promo, but they are new, so you haven't seen them. And look, it fits us too, and it would still fit more people. This is the extra large one. But anyway, that's not that's not the main point. The yeah, main... good these are. Oh, you're eating already. I always talk so much. <laughs> good that yes. we have each bowl because otherwise he just eats everything. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet and eat. Oh man, they're that good. Mm. That's so yummy. A little bit of a scent. <laughs> Can you hear it? Oh my god, I could eat these. I'm gonna let's go get more. Mm. Yum, eh? That's so yum. Little flavor bombs. I just wanna show you guys how small the meat is, but that's why you need so many of them. Because this is literally the all compared to my hand. Good thing they're easy to catch, eh? Yeah, they don't run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Dead jokes, hey. Mm, big time. <laughs> they're actually really tasty, eh? So yummy. Oh, look, look at your funny tower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking them in the ball and he's building his <laughs> shell tower. That's smart. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. Oh no, just the sand flicked in there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like it and share it with someone who may like it as well. And if you don't wanna miss the next video, you can subscribe and I will see you the next Wednesday. Yeah, doggies. <laughs> Ciao for now. Get your cock along. Mm. We're gonna need a couple of these to fill up, but. <laughs> Couple of bowls. We know where to find them, but. Nice and tight. <laughs> I'm building my tower too now. Let's see if we can get the biggest cockle tower. This is the tower we are talking about. I did say bye, but. Look. <laughs> Tower fell over. Why is it standing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, ciao guys.